it's Shannon. Welcome back to my channel. I have a really fun DIY project for you today that is very inexpensive, super duper easy, and you're gonna get a really great result in the end. So all we're gonna be using today is some Jenga, wooden Jenga pieces from the Dollar Tree, a placemat from the Dollar Tree, and some E6000 glue. So let's go ahead and get started with this project. All right, so I have my supplies laid out here. I have three Jenga sets, which I think is gonna be plenty to fill up this placemat, which is going to be our background. And what we're gonna do is use these little Jenga pieces to create the herringbone pattern. So you're basically going to lay them like this. So it's almost like an upside down L. And we're gonna use E6000 glue, and that's going to help your Jenga pieces bond to the placemat and to each other. So this is how we do the pairing bone pattern. Like I said, we have the upside down L here, and you're just going to build on that design to create this look. So it's kind of hard to do this one-handed. I'm gonna show you here up close and then I will speed it up so you can see it all sort of come together. But as you can see, see you can just build your L's uh, one at a time onto each other and then we'll come back and we'll start building off of the sides. All right, well, it is the next day because I ran out of Jenga pieces. I can't believe it took so many. So this is three boxes here and I went to the store. I grabbed three more. So we are gonna fill as much of this up as I possibly can. And then I'll let you know how many boxes you for sure will need to do this size.
All right, so here it is completed, and I did end up using almost five Jenga sets. So I have four of these guys left over from that fifth set, and five sets makes one this size, and this one is 18 inches wide by 13 inches tall. So if you want something bigger, of course you'll need to buy more sets. And what I'm gonna do is let this dry with the E6000 to dry all the way, and it takes about an hour for it to set up, but then it takes like 72 hours for it to really completely cure. But I'm gonna give it a couple hours here and then I'll come back and you can see, let's see here, the placemat is kind of visible in some spots, especially along this edge over here. And I don't want that to be shown. So I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife here and just cut the placemat out so that you don't see that. I think this turned out so cute. It is a little bit small for a doormat. But I do think if you doubled this up and made two of them and then put them together, you'd have pretty much the right size for a doormat. So definitely just take some inspiration from this to create a size that works for you. I also think it'd be really cute to add a decal or a stencil to the top that says welcome or a cute little saying on it too. Thank you all so much for joining me for this tutorial. It was definitely a fun one and I feel like you could use this in so many different ways, creating your own wood signs with it, creating it into a larger size and using it underneath furniture even, like your coffee table or a coffee bar like you see behind me. So I hope that you all got some inspiration from this video and will give it a thumbs up for me. If you have more ideas of how you would use this project in your own home, let me know down in the comments below. I love reading all of your ideas and suggestions. And if you're not already, I hope you will also hit that subscribe button so you can stick around and join me every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for new DIYs, tutorials, and new inspiration. And while you're at it, hit that bell as well so you get notified when my videos go live. Thank you all so much again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.